Within the last couple of years, we've seen some tremendous advances in triple negative breast cancer care. Um, from the early breast cancer setting, we've been able to incorporate immunotherapy along with chemotherapy for patients where their tumors are greater than two centimeters or involve lymph nodes. And we've seen not only a significant improvement in pathologic complete response after chemotherapy, but also now an improvement in survival per the recent survival data that was just released. And so it's really important for those patients that meet that criteria that they are given or being at least considered for the use of chemo and immunotherapy because of that survival benefit. Now, I think there's still a lot of outstanding questions because the chemo and immunotherapy regimen is quite a hefty regimen with four chemotherapy drugs and the use of an immunotherapy agent for an entire year. And so for a lot of patients, this can be a lot of toxicity, a lot of side effects, it's a lot of time, um, but also can be very expensive for, for patients as well. And so some of the more recent data is looking at the use of immunotherapy in the adjuvant setting. And so the ABRAVE trial, which will be reported out this ASCO, I think will hopefully provide some additional information in those patients that either received just neoadjuvant chemo, so without the immunotherapy agent, who have residual disease, that would they benefit from adjuvant immunotherapy? The ABRAVE trial also had a separate um, uh, treatment arm in which the patients who did not receive neoadjuvant chemotherapy, but rather receive adjuvant chemotherapy when immunotherapy was added, again, would that improve outcomes? I'll be interested to see the data based upon um, the negative in Passion 30 study that was presented a few months ago at San Antonio. Um, but for some of our patients who perhaps can't tolerate the full chemo or keynote 522 regimen in the neoadjuvant setting, some of these adjuvant immuno-oncology or immunochemotherapy combinations, um, you know, may be a potential uh, benefit a regimen that would benefit them. I think on the opposite side, though, is in those patients that do have pathologic complete responses, we also need to determine whether or not adjuvant k or immunotherapy is needed in those patients. And so there's been a lot of advances in triple negative breast cancer in the early breast cancer setting recently, but I think there's equal number of questions, if not more, as a result of all these advances.